Hi, and welcome back to the Lock Around the Clock for Week 17, the final lock week of the regular season. Uh, we'll definitely be with you throughout the, throughout the playoffs. Uh, we're going to be giving you some great information, some great games, and some great picks over the course of the next couple weeks, leading all the way to the Super Bowl like we do every year. Uh, let's close out the regular season in Week 17 with the biggest game of the year, the uh, game of the week, the 1 o'clock lock. We're going to go 3-0 and this week, starting with the one game that you must play this week. Uh, the one o'clock lock, Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Jacksonville is getting four and a half points in this game. And let's put it this way. Since Jacksonville got rid of Gus Bradley and uh, they ushered him out of his office and started to load his things into the car, when they opened the trunk, they found Allen Robinson. They found their offense. It was duct taped in the back of, of his car. Doug Marone took it out. And Doug Marone, as their interim head coach, Look, the guy is an offensive genius. He's done well in New Orleans, back when they had a really high-powered offense. Uh, they still do, but a lot of it had to do with him back in 2008 uh, when he was with the Bills. They had one of their best offensive productive seasons, uh, and now he's taking over as the Jags head coach. And you can see already the offense came alive last week against Tennessee. Uh, look for this game for Blake Bortles to really light it up and this offense to get going against the Indianapolis defense that's really not that good as we saw in the last couple weeks over the season. Don't forget the first win the Jaguars got in week four was against the Indianapolis Colts. Of course, that was home. Now they're in a dome. It's nice and cozy. It'll be 72 degrees in there. Um, and let's put it this way. The offensive line of Indianapolis, well, let's put it this way. It's on its way out, just like possibly their head coach. Uh, their, their offensive line has been beat up. I mean, uh, Andrew Luck has been running around for his life. He's been getting crushed. And this defense of the Jacksonville Jaguars was pretty underrated, somewhat like underrated like uh, Van Halen Fair Warning was one of the most underrated albums in Van Halen history. Uh, look for this team to come alive and play well for this last game. Blake Bortles will be playing for his job for next year, although they don't really have anybody else there. But look for this team to get the offense moving. Uh, they're getting four and a half points in this last game. I like the Jags to win this game outright. They're going to cover the four and a half. That is the lock of the day. Take the Jacksonville Jaguars plus the four and a half. On to the four o'clock lock. Yes, my beloved Oakland Raiders. Uh, one of the only games on the, pl on the slate. Uh, one of the few games that has really any meaning. Uh, if Oakland wins this, they win the West, and uh, they get the bye week, the second seed. Uh, bigger things happen if the Patriots fall to the Miami Dolphins, and, well, a lot of things have to happen, but Oakland has to win, and I believe they're going to win. They're getting a point and a half in this game, and they're in Denver. That's a little weird to me. Uh, Denver is like a powerhouse to the returning champs, but guess what? They're not because they're playing not one quarterback, but two quarterbacks that really aren't even half as good as Matt McGloin. Matt McGloin's been with the team now for uh, four years. He's been the backup. They really like and believe in Matt McGloin, and I think the fact that he's been taking reps with the off, uh, the first team offense, and he's been getting a lot of help from Derek Carr, uh, they're going to succeed. And against Denver, if you remember, in the last game, Derek Carr only threw for 180 yards. I think Matt McGloin's more than capable of doing that. They're going to stack the line like they did in the first game and do the basic blueprint of how to beat the Denver Broncos, which is run the ball right at them. They're going to put the sixth lineman in there. They're going to use a lot of tight end uh, coverage uh, or blocking and they're going to be able to run Latavius Murray, DeAndre Boom Boom Washington, baby. Look for these guys to get the running game going against Denver. Look for them to take it to the Denver Broncos all the way to the AFC West title. Uh, take the Oakland Raiders plus the one and a half. On to the 8 o'clock lock, the big game of the night, Sunday night. I can only hear Carrie Underwear singing right now. Uh, Green Bay at Detroit. Huge game. If these two teams tie, which would be incredible, they both get in. Uh, but Green Bay is ready and poised for the uh, postseason again. Uh, Detroit with Matt Stafford, I really, I just, I don't feel real well about him, except for the fact that they're home. Uh, Ty Montgomery has really given this Green Bay team uh, a full, complete offense with a running game, finally. Uh, Aaron Rodgers has been hooking up with Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson looks like the old Jordy Nelson. Uh, Darius Slay will be back, but probably won't be covering Nelson because they'll put Nelson into the slot. Uh, look for this game to be a field day for both offenses. Uh, the total in this game is 49.5. Now, I do like Green Bay to win this game, but I'm not sure by how much because 
We know Cap can come back with uh, Matt Stafford. He can put up the points late in the game. But I look for both of these teams to be able to score and move the ball uh, at will. I look for this to be a high-scoring game. The total, again, is 49.5. We're looking to go over the total of 49.5. Until next week when we get into the playoffs, let's go 3-0. and And as always, take it to the book, take it to the bank, and as always, you take it ace!